So yeah, welcome to four four three three. Hi. How are you doing? Authentic, uncensored, unapologetic. Unapologetic. Mm. All right, guys. So last season, mm-hmm. these fuckers won. What a waste of a season. Yeah, you, you see? <laughs> Dropping mics, <laughs> dropping, <laughs> dropping points, dropping mics. Liverpool, yeah, man. I was three the last time we won. But, 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 <laughs> but everyone needs to remember, last season was a yo on another level because what is us? Games played, people winning. It's fucking getting hit by coronavirus, bro. Yeah, that was just God telling you that it's not supposed yeah. to happen. Yeah, <laughs> you defied the law. <laughs> I mean, it, and so it's everything that's happened <laughs> since then has been yeah. unnatural. Mm. Liverpool winning is unnatural. Yeah, they, they, they kept saying they could never get an asterisk. Uh, no, 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 it's all right. We, we don't acknowledge 2020. Yeah. So whatever happens, it stays in this year. You can still like celebrate on Zoom. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can still <laughs> parade on Zoom and, and team. Uh, but yeah, but, but it's well, here. congratulations anyway. No, but it, it yeah. happened. Congratulations, thirty years. Mm. Let's hope it's like a comet passing the earth. And you guys almost died, but they're little poor. Well, I mean, thirty years was my entire life. Mandela just came out of prison. The ten, like yeah. he walked out of prison. And yeah. Liverpool won the league. Yeah. And now he's been dead seven years. Mm. That's how long it's been. <laughs> Jeez. Bro, it's my entire lifetime. I mean, I'm thirty years old. Wow. So you were born just. I was born that year. I was born that old. Jeez, bro. So, anyways, yeah. The, the internet, it was a season to remember. The, the internet didn't exist. Yeah. Now, cheers to that. What, what do you think about uh, KDB taking players, player of the year? Oh, definitely. Boss, bro. How the many assists he got? 20. 20 uh, assists? Yeah, 20. 20 like regular Carlton imagine. Team ball or something? A reliance on one player is where the issue begins. If. It's great if it's working, but it's terrible when it's, mm-hmm. it's not. Yeah. yeah, when you don't have that guy, you're exposed, you're yeah. clueless, you're just yeah. wasting time. That's you, you can see that with us when we over relied on Pogba. Yeah. yeah, and then when Pogba got injured, and it was late. They were scapegoating mm-hmm. him. Like, oh, <laughs> Pogba didn't tie his shoelaces. That's why we lost. And Pogba wasn't there. <laughs> you know, they should they should spread it out. Bruno Fernandez has been. Yeah. A revelation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Signing the season. Oh well, yeah, for United, yeah, for sure. No, he was period. No. No, no, no. Signing off the season. I mean, to bring him in at that time, where United were pushing for top four, to bring that, him that is, time? Is his 68 million pound price tag man, worth it? Well, like he worth transformed it. the team into something that actually made top four. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Single, I, 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 I mean, and he brought the best in both Greenwood, Martial, yeah. and Rashford. Yeah. Because he was in the center of those three. Sure, they wanted to take penalties. <laughs> True. It is. That's, that means we were coming. No, uh, they were coming. Because all those fouls means we were making we were making some moves in the in the 18 area. That is so. true. Yeah, no. Uh, that that also goes to show that your fi- in the final third, there's improvements are required. Yeah. Because you in my opinion, you're not really supposed to have that many you're not supposed to miss that many chances so close to goal. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's either you yeah. are parrying it for, yeah. for, for uh, it's either going out for a corner, a shot on target, mm. or it's going in. Mm. So for someone to collapse, that, that could happen. And balls. The, the new rules are also confusing a lot of people. Like defenders are, are shook. They, they, they're not quite aware of yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Offside is a bit tricky. It's getting sorted out. I mean, as time goes along, I think it's getting clearer, but it's getting harder for players to play because they, they yeah. were not trained yeah. in that manner. And they weren't. Like, someone's like, okay, this guy's offside. I'm putting my hand up, but linesman's are in. He's not stopping. Yeah, he's not, he's he's not he's stopping the game. Play, so it's, it's taken a lot of defenders' yeah. time to realize. And goalkeepers to s- set up their mm-hmm. players as well. And I would segue to, like, the hair falling off. It's not so much his inability to play is what is probably the best on on any day he's the best goalkeeper in my opinion you think yeah short stopper yeah. on the planet yeah, short stopper no, yes yes, yes. 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 short range but yeah i mean with that said um 
new rules for VAR. And you're going to say, VAR needs to be scrapped. That's just <laughs> no, no, it doesn't need to be scrapped. It needs to go. It's a waste of time. <laughs> how is it? No, but then how is it doing so well in Spain and in, 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 in France and other Brands. countries? Brands. But it's not doing well in England. Because the speed of play in England. VR is the, the most disruptive thing about VR is the fact that it stops play. If yeah. they can sort out how you can actually make a decision and mm. continue playing, mm. that makes that makes VR worth it. But you it, people can't even celebrate anymore. It takes away the most sacred part of football, the goal. Yeah, you gotta you gotta wait no, until man, it's nonsense. <laughs> Until they do the, the check, you know. I mean, like, a, an offside decision is already painful. Like, you see the line. Well, I mean, there's a new the offside thing now going on. Yeah. It, it, this is another thing. They need to sort of decide how many times they can change the rules. And within, like, every five years, every two, because every year it's like, oh, now you can't kick with your left foot. Mm. Sometimes it's painful where you're like watching a game with people and then, yeah, ah, maybe they're bets. Yeah. And yeah. then someone's like, no. Like, I, I felt really bad, to be quite honest. I really felt bad for Man City when they were playing Tottenham in the Champions League last year. That was that, that was a robbery in a weird way. Cause yeah, but I didn't feel bad. <laughs> I, I, I felt bad because they lost to Tottenham. Bad. That, yeah. That's why oh. that, that hurt me. Ah, so. uh, yeah. And personals. Yeah, personals. You know, <laughs> family feuds again. Yeah. But, but, but at, at the end of the day, Barty's in top four. Was it deserved or not? For who? The top four. Yes, top definitely. Four. Anyone, yeah. every year, if you get into top four, you deserve it. That's just my bottom line. Mm. But based if, on the entire season, based on play, doesn't matter. If you manage to get there, you did what needed. Based to on done. VAR. It, okay, we're, we're living in a time of VAR. Yeah. yeah. Before VAR, those people got to top four deserved it. Yeah. yeah. During VAR, if VAR is okay, if that's why I'm saying I don't like VAR because now if it's becoming a factor to decide who whether someone deserves to win or not. If there's controversy surrounding the decision, more controversy than when it was not there, mm. then it should either be reviewed to be re re removed or they should improve it so drastically that like it's not. there's no question. Because so many questionable decisions have been made that have cost mm. teams points, games, seasons. Because if someone says this, if you have an analysis board that shows these are the points with VAR, these are the points without, mm. and there's a discrepancy. Something was wrong. Yeah, but VAR did not stay, though. Some, it stayed. So, with, with or without VAR, if you make it to the top four, you deserve it. Yeah. You deserve it. <laughs> Last day. No, I don't complain. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm top, not complaining four, at all. Top, top, top four is, and it makes, it also gives, there's an extra dimension to, you have the top of the table, mm -hmm you have the bottom of the table battles. Now it becomes even more interesting where top teams fighting for Champions League mm. are fighting or playing against teams that are fighting for survival. Yeah. It's hunger. If, if, if it wasn't in your hands, by the time the deciding game or deciding time arrives, mm. you are lucky. Yeah, it's all your fault. It's your fault. Mm. You should have sealed it in the bag. A long time ago. A long time. Uh, Aston Villa, they they survived just by this game. By, uh, by by uh, the assistance of others. <laughs> I wanted them to go down though, bro, because I wanted uh, Jack he's, Grealish to come on the low. He's coming. <laughs> October's uh, coming. Nah, man, poor Bournemouth, bro. Yeah, I wanted no, Bournemouth no, to stay. Eddie Howe just Eddie Howe deserved no, more. It's not Eddie Howe's, Eddie Howe's fault. It's the higher ups. They didn't give him what he needed. But sure, I mean, but every club can you for every club you can say that. Their levels, their levels. I, I can accept that probably Aston Villa maybe had uh oh, sorry, Bournemouth had a certain budget. But you, you see a falling short early in the season. You start planning, you say, okay guys, Adapt. Mm. these are the issues we're having and it's mm. November. December windows come. Mm. Can we start pulling our money to salvage what we have? Rather yeah. spend money during the season. Yeah. We were talking about Fernandez coming into United changed everything. Because mm. without him, where do you think they would have ended? I don't think top four. Not even top six. Right. So now, so the like, teams that... So like eight like Arsenal. Yeah, <laughs> we're there. We're there. But that's the same issue we had. Yeah, no, true. We had, we had, yeah. we had substitutions we had to deal yeah. with. Coaches. Yeah. Which is even more 
I don't. It's a bigger pain. It's a bigger pain. But I mean, yeah, yeah. And I mean, without a a Papa Yang doing worship, yeah, Arsenal would not. The person who steered the ship was Mikel Arteta. You see, yeah. Papa Yang is the angel. Oh, no, sure, 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 sure. sorry. Oh, my, my blood like yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know he came so, with it, man. <laughs> no, he came with it, and you know what I liked. The, there's that thing of chasing the golden boot. Mm. He has his own personal motivation. Yeah. Whether yeah. he stays, whether he goes, whether the team does well or not, he had these things that were pushing yeah. him. But what I liked is that the team's ethos has changed. You can see now they're being told, guys, how you see how nice it is to hold silverware. Mm. It doesn't matter if it's a tree, if it's a cup, it's something. Because, yeah, yeah we're getting teased. You guys finish lower than you've ever finished. But you finished, but you want the cups? Yeah, Ch- Chelsea did the same thing a couple years ago, and they won the Champions League. They were eighth. Mm. They were not going to play Champions League the next season, mm. and then they damn they won the thing. They're like, hey, okay, if that's the case. That actually brings me into my next um, thing: Chelsea. Damn it, two hundred million. They they had the best oh. uh, transfer uh, window. I'll let him yeah, see. but you can buy you can buy the world class. Buy the best stallions in the fucking herd, but you're not gonna let them. If they don't jaw well, yeah. if they don't come out the blocks running, if they don't play properly, if they can't adjust quick enough, yeah. you waste half a season. Because the team I mean, is important. I mean, for example, Klopp bought Fabinho. Fabinho didn't play a game for three months. Mm-hmm. And look at him now, one of the best midfielders in the, in the league, of course, mm-hmm. defense in the league. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's how it is. It, you can't just expect Chelsea players to come in yeah. and run. Yeah, pre, pre, uh, pre-season friendlies are everything. Yeah, cool, yeah. The guys are running and scoring goals. You mm. think a friendly against a team way above, I mean, way below you. Pre-season friendlies, that's a Real Madrid then. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's pre-season, yes. Yeah, I mean, like, Liverpool it's... went down 2-0 to Liverpool yeah. recently. And, came back. and they came back, yeah. But I mean, it was just like, because they were just ch- they were just chilling. It's a, it's a freaking friendly, bro. Yeah, it's, they're not gonna put all their heart into September. It. <laughs> it's like why? Yeah. It's like why should I play half? No, of it's game? just to start. And then the thing is, engine. and who scored all the goals? It wasn't Salah. Yes, Mane got one. Fabinho got one. But it was on. It was all the lighties. Yeah, yeah. They need to also get a run in just to f- you know what it feels like to wear the the badge, run with the boys. Uh, speaking of lighties, yeah. shame. I just wanna apologize to Harvey Elliott. Mm. Didn't get himself a freaking medal. It happens. But I mean, okay, so last season was a great season mm. for all different reasons. Mm. Obviously, still for winning it. Uh, menu, Chelsea, new man. Oh, I mean, not new manager. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of that, that player to manager bridge, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like bringing, like, I mean, once GV joins Liverpool eventually in years to come, and someone else from City, I don't know who, there's no club in the City, but they would join City as that. Mm. It's become a thing now where. Players become coaches. The play, it's 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 become a, it's more of a tradition thing now coming out. Yeah, it's club culture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what it means, mm-hmm. you, especially if you're successful as yeah. I mean, as most of them are legends. Yeah. So you know what it means. You know what it took to get to that point. Yeah. So I think sometimes the value in these former legends or legends, former players coming in as coaches is they know the atmosphere and what was needed. Yeah. And you're trying to instill that attitude in mm. your new players. For example, if Chelsea has assembled very good players, mm-hmm. they now need to bring the club culture and the new, you know, mentality. Some of these guys, most of them, are coming from other leagues that I, I, I can argue and say are not as competitive. Yeah. So you might have been the guy where yeah. you were. Yeah. Now you have to justify your price tag. You have to justify your your name in yeah. the game and. That league has humbled everyone who's ever come in the uh, game. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. even though that shit has the greatest coach, the greatest players suffered. If you look at their record when they first came in, mm. they didn't hit the ground running. Very few people have. Yeah. Or yeah. they've had bumps. Yeah. Mm. Now, Chelsea has that issue where they have players that are so good in their respective where they came from. Yeah. And we don't know if they gel, as you said. And are they competitive enough in this league? Because the league now, it's it's going to set its own tone as the game starts picking up. Yeah. Hopefully, for every person who's made a purchase, you get your money's worth. The quality starts to come through. 
um, and you start building momentum, you start building an attitude, and you start building that legend focus that Lampard is going to bring, you know, that's all he's trying to bring because he, he, he's a legend. Mm. I think the issue is... Superstar. David Gates assassin. Yes. Yeah. But, but no one, you can't... So to change a game, to, you have to be able to watch a game from the benches and know what you need to do to impact the player. And that's what he did. Which, which is where transfers are supposed to alleviate whatever issues yeah. you face or you're trying to fix going yeah. forward. Sometimes you don't have to change what's working. Liverpool is a good example yeah. of that. They got what they needed and it, they gave time to yeah. develop a style of football. Yeah. It wasn't this player. It's like saying, ah, this bolt on my tire is not doing mm. it too well. You're not going to remove the entire tire. tire. Yeah. You change the bolt. bolt. Mm. Sometimes it's just a question of tightening the, the bolt. bolt. You, you, that, 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 that's what clock yeah. <laughs> yeah. right. Because sometimes yeah. like, we're going to do tire. No, yeah. just tighten it and yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. Because yeah, no, that's a fucking great metaphor, bro. That's like exactly what it is. No, from 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 Manchester United perspective, uh, yeah, kind of kind of pissed off with the transfer window right now. Yeah, because Sancho, wait, 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 Sancho, 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 he's not around, man. One twenty. Russia wants too Do much. You think he didn't? No, Russia's justified in their price. He's young. They have to rebuild. Yeah. But my question to you then is. Does he cover the issues that you, as a fan, when you watch, does he cover? Is it justified to spend one twenty on any single individual? Is that the only problem that United has? I know we got gang problems, but he would be a welcome addition. We what we saw is we needed depth. Mm. We, the guys ran out of steam towards the end. Yeah, I could see. Ah, they weren't running <laughs> no more. They couldn't score anymore. Those three, four That's new wins six were balls. done. So we definitely, from our side, we need depth. Mm. But uh, you know, mm. especially since you're in the much. Champions League now, mm. remember? Yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's fun in games <laughs> when you qualify, but now depth, and you also have to give players a rest yeah. so they don't get yeah. injured. That was my heartbreak last season. Mm. That was your heartbreak. What the Jam- Champions League? Yeah. Ah, uh, the moment. Yeah. What league? I was like super happy, but I mean, like when. The season started, and, and when we got to Christmas, mm. and people were talking about undefeated, mm. fucking trailblocks, and this. That, that pressure and, got And it started you. getting to me, yeah. like, 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 I told everyone, like, I, I was like, no, this is not going to happen. Just be cool, win the league, win the league, win the league. Mm. But then it got to Jan, I was like, okay, maybe, mm. this is going to be a thing. Yeah. Then Watford defeat came in, and I was like, okay, it's fine, <laughs> Watford. Man, it that sucks. Was, I was yeah. I've never been invested in a game, as soon as Watford scored, I was yeah. like, we remain undefeated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Every season, for now. Nah, yeah. For now. So then there was that, and then it was all the like is getting kicked out of all other cups. Yeah. You know, so I was like, okay. But I think the singular focus was the league. You know what? It definitely was. It was. You won the league. If, if you hadn't won the Champions League the season before, yeah. If you weren't defending champions, yeah, no. With that pressure, and it was okay. It's open season. You haven't won anything. Now, what do you want? Yeah. Any day, the league is always going to be number oh, one. So I think it actually came to your benefit that you yeah. didn't go further. I think yeah. if you had gone further... But I would have played now, only after everything was finished. There was no... Well, that's in hindsight, but if yeah, it was no. still April, May... <laughs> Not sure, no big sense. And now you're playing deciding... But it was it was decided in February, the mm. league... Yeah, no, the same February, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So... The, when I say heartbreak, I mean, in the way we lost to a team like Atletico who played the way they played mm. at Anfield, mm. it was just that heartbreaking. Like, yeah. I don't mind if we went to the next game and, and a lot sure. Mm. But the way we lost to Atletico at home. Yeah. That's why they call it Champions League, bruh. Sad, man. Oh, and then they go and get team. chowed by uh, <laughs> RB Lepsky, <laughs> bruh. They go and they go, what the fuck? Is going yeah, on. Was playing good for <laughs> they were. Yeah, they, they were. were. But they were never going to be PSG. And the players that are being yeah. taken from that team. Yeah, no, they've been raided. Oh, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. they were. I think they they were lining themselves up for it. Like, in a raid. They told those boys, play your hearts out because you're coming to get picked up. Yeah. So yeah. it made sense that they played that well. But then with, with, with that said, um, what are the predictions? Yo.
I'm in. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the what I think is the most important part of the fucking show. Fantasy football. Amen. Amen. This is what, this is why we're here. Amen. Well, last season I didn't do too well. Bastard, you beat me. I didn't even play last season. That's how badly I was. Shame on you. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, I do hold bragging rights in my mini leagues, but overall, not the greatest. Mm-hmm. I mean, top two hundred fifty thousand. Well, that's that's not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. But I want to be out, out of what it's seven, eight million. Yeah, <laughs> I want to be better, man. <laughs> how, how much better do you think you're gonna? I want to be top ten thousand at least this season. Ten thousand. Mm-hmm. That means you got it. That's gotta at be. least an eighty point game week every, every week. week. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> that's why I've taken this a bit more seriously this time. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, you should subscribe, follow our new league. Um, we will put the code in a little bit later on. Right. And. 43. Join us. Yeah. Let's do this. So, guys, who's going to start showing their draft teams first? The, the champions. The champions. <laughs> okay, so I'll think of the my, my draft team first. Mm. I mean, you won't be able to see it from there, but let's see. You need to be able to zoom in, eh? <laughs> nah. There will be a graphic next to yeah, it. Yeah. Mm. So, we'll put it somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, right? Yeah. Here. So. Yeah. Okay, this is the draft team. Obviously, your deadline to pick your team is tomorrow morning, or yep. tomorrow midday. Um, I've gone with the tactic this season of packing the midfield. Mm. I mean, all the top players from previous seasons have all been from midfield. Mm. You, you, from midfield, you get the most points for goals. You get clean sheet points. And the best players are playing in midfield. Mm. You know? So, I'll start there. My midfield is packed with talents. Obviously, Salah and Mane both sat in my team. Mm-hmm. They sat in my team last season for most of it until mm-hmm. there was a period when I got dick of Mane because he was being a bit of an ass. <laughs> and then and then he started banging again, so I brought him back in. Um, Son from Tottenham. Mr. Pierre Eric Aubameyang, obviously. He has now been reclassified. Yeah, Clyde, my my yeah, captain! Yeah. My brother! <laughs> He's been classified now as a midfielder, so yeah, pick up to that. Points, yeah. Pick up to that. And then I went for Suchek from West Ham. Oh, yeah, I mean, well, obviously he had a cheap option budget. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And bad, looking, bad, at, his, looking at the end of the season performance from him, it's pretty good. And, well. mm. and he's been raved about. Mm. So By that's whom? my midfield. Who was raving about him? The last performances were quite good, bro. The last week, nah, if you speaking. watched the Prem <laughs> towards the end, he was doing the most for West Ham. Four good games out of 38. He's excellent. I mean, he only came in half the season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, the, so with the packed midfield, that's why you'll see that my two forwards that I got in mm-hmm. are Adams and Mitrovic. Mm. So I chose Mitrovic over Antonio because I think Mitrovic... I think Antonio is going to be better. You think? Yeah, there's something that I almost. No, no, I mean yes. I mean, he season he ended the mm-hmm. end the season like as number one. Yeah, last he was season. fire. It's fire, but it's West Ham. I, I you can't trust them. Can't trust the David Moyes team, boy. <laughs> bubbles, bro. You don't want to pop any bubbles and shit. It's that Olympic <laughs> Stadium vibe, bro. They've got the, the voodoo when you move to a new stadium. It 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 messes with you. Yeah, Just stay yeah. in your regular. And stadium. then I chose Che Adams over Kings first of all for money wise, mm. budget wise. How much was Danny Ings? 8.5. 8.5, bro, from a 7.5. Oh, yeah, he had a cracker season. Yeah, he was crack second. Season. Yeah. Second trying, to body for yeah, goals, bro. Goals, yeah. So, Che Adams, because I think he's going to do much better this season than Ings. Mm. Or they'll play off each other and third, do better. Third, I think. Yeah. And then the back line, obviously, you have to, you have to include the God. TAA, Trent Alexander Arnold. Ah, uh, obvious. This is the God. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's the God. He's the God. Yes. He's the God of defense. Uh, yeah, I'm he's teasing. probably he's everyone's team right, right now. now yeah. I'm teasing, yeah, but I'm yeah. probably uh, with you. Yeah. <laughs> and because of my budget issues, then I didn't have to go with the Sals from Newcastle mm. and Vinagre from Wolves. Mm. And, I'm two, and my keeper is McCarthy from Southampton, right? Yeah. So, Who's your second keeper? It's from Southampton. Yeah. Okay, okay. So because I did have Pope. Mm-hmm. But money wise, I was like, he's expensive because he, he did well. He last season. Pope's, a, Pope's a bad man, but bad then, man. So I've gone with uh, my second keeper is Nyland from Aston Villa. Ah. So I think with so because because you must also remember that a keeper also gets save points, right? 
So you can have Allison in your team, yeah. but how many saves is he gonna make? Yeah, he's not gonna get of, hit on target. Of his defense, yeah. it's not like Matt Ryan, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Ryan is working <laughs> in the coal mines, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> he made thirty-five saves, bruh. So yeah, so right, <laughs> Nylon. <laughs> Nylon, and then my other bench is like is, is conceding like forty goals. It's like so the midfield and yeah. goalkeeper. That's it. Yeah, so, but I, I get your your drill. And then my other bench is Davies as a forward from Asvilla. Peters from Burnley as my defender, mm. and then Bernardo from Brighton is a cheap option because I'm never gonna play. I'll always play. He's gonna and hear this. He's gonna be like, oh. oh yeah. But I mean, I always play a three-five-two, always. Yeah. Always. Yeah, my yeah. midfield is my midfield. I Sometimes always... you gotta stack them defenders. Bro. Well, it depends now because now I got Peters, right? So, mm. if, so if I'm one of my midfielders, like say for, for example, Suchek having a tough meet in Liverpool, mm. I'm always gonna bring Peters in to make mm. it a four-four-two. So Burnley defenders always have to be in there. And yeah, that's my team. That's my draft team. It might change by tomorrow morning, yeah, later yeah, on tonight. Yeah. I mean, I do scout the web, Twitters, FPLs, other ways, you know, all these groups just to check what's happening. But I always think this is a pretty solid team. But then when it comes down to who you're choosing as captain, that's where my mind will change at mm-hmm. the last second on the day. Who did yeah. you captain for? Currently, I always go with Salah. I mean, I've gone oh, with him. Okay. I've always gone with him. Oh. But my mind's thinking... Pierre, because he needs, he's in a bang, but my heart is Liverpool, so I always, it's Al Salah Mane, that I, last season I kept Al Salah or Mane in every game week, mm. and I always made returns, because okay. I had, a, for some reason I was able to, to choose Mane over Salah well, the, the one week, mm. and he banged, and the next week I choose Salah, and then Salah bang, you know, so, uh, so it was working for you, but we'll see, tomorrow morning we'll see, might change again, but, what, when cut was what, 12? Who? The cutoff for mm. when did they actually now acknowledge that this is the game? Yeah, next 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Line. tomorrow. First game's what then? Yeah, they changed it to an hour and a half before. An hour and a half? Yeah. So, so you can't wait for team sheets and then be like, no, ah, you, you never could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. came an hour before. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, so they changed it to, to an hour and a half before the kickoff. Makes sense. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's my draft team, guys. Nice. Uh, and you can know that I'm going to be. Killing it again this season. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Anyway, get to mine. Got a slightly different formation. Um, basically, uh, three four three, you know, which is the reverse of four three three. But yeah, um, Trent, like he said, everybody needs to have Trent. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at. Doherty, he's in there, but he's like six million, so I might switch him around for for somebody else. Mm-hmm. Just be careful with that, eh? Because it, m- m- you know you got Mourinho as a manager, of course. And Doherty just got in the team, and Mourinho is one of those guys. You'd be like, uh, maybe not right no, now. No, I think he's that, gonna play him though. Gonna that's why I'm also doubting because he's also plays um Aurea's position, so I don't know who's going to start. Aurea's still there. Aurea's yeah. mistake prone. No, sure. Yeah. But it's a quality he's just joining the team. Yeah. So Maria might give him a couple of weeks to just settle with the team and then play him. You know Maria. Really yeah. <laughs> Maria parks the bus. Dorothy likes to drive a bus. So yeah. sometimes the bus needs to move. Man. Just adjust. Okay, sorry, bro. Carry on with that. We'll, we'll see with all that. That's why I said he's like uh, with Dorothy. He's like uh, this guy might not make my final team. Um, mm-hmm. I got obviously Kyle Walker Peters because of because of money budget issues. But hey, that was a good signing, bro. But yeah, he's he's in there. And signing. you know he has the odd assist and the goal with him. So. And he's gonna be playing more regularly, I think, this season. So yeah, because this is Southampton, yeah. So it'll most probably do well. Um, Salah, obviously, they're playing against Leeds, so your know, Leeds might get it up that's the that, ass. That's a dark horse. Though. Yeah, I honestly think Leeds, Leeds is might gonna... get it up the ass, or they might show up <laughs> <laughs> at Anfield. No, at Anfield, no. Yeah, but this is a this different kind of shit, Anfield. There's that's, nobody this in is, there. This is you 2020, I mean? 2021, like... bro. It's over. That's, that's true. true. There's no so, songs. Yeah, I, I, I there's actually, no scarves. I, I, actually prefer, I forgot about that. There's no freaking yeah. crowd. Mm. Oh jeez. Yeah. No, no, no. I still don't know. Mm. You're at Anfield. I got blood clot Obama oh, in there. My brother. That's my captain right now. My brother. I, you know, I feel like uh, Fulham am going to get that. And, uh, and I think Obama's like 40%, he's in 40% teams right now. Yeah, um, 46.7. 80% of the team. Yeah. Plus, uh-huh. Plus you know, preseason form, he was. Charity Cup. Yeah, he was just, bangers, he was just on fire. So, 
Yeah, I had to put him in. Hey, Lundstrom came in last minute, but I don't know if he's going to play. No, but so, okay, so last season, Lundstrom, he lost Lundstrom was no, definitely a person to have because he, he was classified as a defender. But he lost it towards the end. Yeah, mm. but, but then he came back towards the end as well. Mm. But he was classified as a defender, so he was helping them get clean sheets plus scoring goals. Mm. Yeah. And now he's in midfield as a midfield classification. So the clean sheets are gone. So, only, gone. so the yeah. points he was getting last season yeah. were mainly from yeah. clean sheets. Yeah. Yo, but this is a budget buy right now, bro. 5.5, yeah. 5, I had to sacrifice because, you know, <laughs> I had some other people up front. Yeah. But yeah, Susek, like you, uh, got him in. Uh, he had quite the, the great run of form towards the end. Fern, I got Tim Fern. Right Timo! I got, I got him in, bro. There's something about that motherfucker that looks like... It might be a yeah, problem. It looks like it might start, but if he fails, I'm giving him one week. <laughs> <laughs> All you guys, this week, boy. <laughs> if you fail, you outie. You know what I mean? Then yeah. I got Antonio and I got Ings. What did uh, I say about yeah, Antonio? Know, right? that's good, that's good. Mm. So you, no, you're definitely banging on your forwards, yeah? Because mm. Ings can definitely score. Antonio can definitely can score. score. Mm. Werner, we don't know. He, well, we know he can score in the Bundesliga. Mm. Yeah. We just have but to find out. The Premier League, yeah. bro. That's why he's got uh, one-on-one chances. I obviously have Matt Ryan at the back, but he's my backup. I've got Pope on the bench. Because he's not playing. Not playing. Right, and, yeah. and that's the thing that I wanted to touch, touch talk about. So, mm-hmm. Manchester United, Manchester City, Burnley and Villa aren't playing this first game week. Yeah. Do you now, I think people are saying as well, do you buy in your De Bruyne now and Bruno, mm-hmm. keep him on the bench, because then you don't have to make too much transfers next week when they come in. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, bruh. That's 10 million on the bench, bruh. Exactly. It could work in your favor. It if could you, go if against you, you, yeah. Yeah, if your subs are correct, it'll yeah. work in your favor. But you don't want to start off on a back foot, bruh. Like, Im- imagine if people have uh, Salah, Mane, uh, Obama, Obama Yang, and all those people bang, and you got like a yeah. Bruno and a De Bruyne on the bench. No, 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 no sure. <laughs> Chilling. No, but I mean, even if you get to take one. So say, for example, you kept De Bruyne on the bench, or maybe, no, 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 put Bruno on the bench, so that, because next week, they play Palace, I think at home, mm. whereas Man City play Wolves, which is a mm. tougher game. So you rather, and so then next week, instead of having to make a transfer, like, oh, shit, I'm bringing Bruno now, because he's playing, it's Bruno Fernandes. I mean, you can't not overlook the guy. He's yeah. he's a top. He was a top points per points returning per game for what like whole last yeah. the whole end of last season. End of last season, yeah. <laughs> so then, do do you keep him there and then like okay, wait, play your game this weekend. He he's parking on the bench next week. You, you bring him in and you can t- use your one free transfer on someone else completely. You know, free transfers everywhere. Uh, everywhere. That's yeah. just my. Give it time, four games. No, but, you only, but, but you only get two free chances and that don't go any higher or lower. No, it's true, but... That means the next game week, you mustn't take anyone out for you to cash yeah, in on the two, two, yeah, two game yeah. weeks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. YOLO, bro. I, <laughs> I'm starting with fire. <laughs> if, I need to, if I need to make a, a, a minus four, minus eight uh, in, in the next game week, I, I will think about it hard. Hey, guys. That's not the greatest advice, but <laughs> it, advice. I mean, it costs me many times, you know. It's advice, it's advice, it's advice. But that's, that's, that's a good team. Mm. Your four line is definitely gonna bang, bro. Right. Yeah. It's up to you, Mr. D. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go from the back going forward. That's even on the graphic, that's how it works. Uh, I'm gonna put Edison in goals. That's my main reason. Okay. Yeah. Not too many. The times that he's attacked, he manages to do the thing. Edison is a bad man. Bad man. But he's not playing first game week. It doesn't matter. <laughs> because my strategy comes in uh, where I put in players, whoever yeah. doesn't play, substitutions are okay. Yeah. So you don't lose points. Yeah. It, it's a, I find it as a win-win situation. If a guy is there on my team sheet and he doesn't play, the substitution should come in and just cover me. That's just how I play. I try not to put in someone who I think is not going to play. And then the 96th minute. They come in, Brian. You get but goalkeepers, point, you know. That's it's, the worst. That's Brian. the worst thing. All right. Damn you, Pip. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I'll speak about my second keeper, mm. McCarthy. Mm. 
uh, reliable. He does the things. Backline. Are we? Trent Alexander Arnold. Obviously. All of us have said yeah. it. He's the dude. Dark Horse. Aspilaquit. Chelsea. Yeah, but uh, as for always got like um Lampard's back mm-hmm. as well. Like Lampard he So in terms of just regular two points, yeah. I know he's gonna be on mm. the team sheet. Mm. Uh, as an Arsenal man, the young man, Maitland Niles, you know. Yeah. You think Maitland Niles is gonna play? I think he's gonna be quite effective. Like they've given him a vote of confidence. Okay, wait, so Maitland Niles plays on the left, right? He's Left, right? No. Right. He's right. He's right. But then, yeah. And then who is left is going to be Tierney, right? Okay. I'm making sure. Where does he play? Saka, though. Saka's in midfield. He's no, no, no. Sa- Saka's actually... A, he was like a four-way. Sa- like, Saka, like a Saka and guy. Maitland Niles. Mm. Bellerin. See, the thing about Maitland Niles is he swaps sides. Bro, you playing a risky game I here, bro. You're playing a very risky, risky game, game yeah. here, bro. You're choosing Maitland Niles and they're going to start a game. They start... Because there's issues in the transfer window, right? Ah. These people that you're talking about might not be there oh. when the season starts. I know. Good luck to you, bro. If 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 I were to choose any Arsenal defender to be my yeah. team, which I did have right. f- from it, was Kieran Tierney. Yeah. Mm. Nah, budgets. <laughs> yeah, budgets. Wow. Simple. But then, but then choose budget. other defenders in the play. No, no, no. Bro. We're going to review yeah, this. Uh, it's a skeleton. This is the draft. Yeah, you sorry, know, sorry, as you sorry, said, sorry. there's sorry, sorry. wild cards. There's transfer points. Mm. Right, so midfield. I read this dude. I've followed him for quite a while. Mm. Who that is? Indeed. He's going to give me a few clean sheets. Because Leicester did well first half going into mid-season. Mm. Second half, they started capitulating. But that was like late yeah, in That was late in the season. But during, during, during like those quiet weeks, game 24, 5, 6, 7, mm. thir- he was doing the things. They would, they would win 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. We get those points. My captain, you know, standard, Obama Yang. Obama blood clutch, yeah. Can, can I have a question? Yeah. If it's a captain, would you set him for, as captain versus season and just forget it? Standard. Set and forget. Set. I always got goals in him, bro. Set and forget. We if all, it's not a goal, it. it's an assist, mm-hmm. right? Like, Especially that he's got that armband on him. Nah, and he's see. been pushed back to midfield, which means nothing, really. It's just for classification, but you know he's going to be up front. Sterling, that boy just has goals coming out of him from nowhere, yeah. right? Oh, and he's yeah. and he's on the team sheet mm. standard. Yeah, but you write the goalkeeper easy. down. You write De Bruyne down. You're Sterling. The rest are um, iffy. But you must remember, okay? So okay, first game. First game. He's not playing first game. That's fine. Doesn't but matter. Saying, <laughs> I told you my strategy. Oh, you are ready. I'm ready. You got ready for game week two. Game week two. But you still gotta worry about Pep Pep Rune, bro. Yeah, but Sterling but must have a couple of games out of season. No, it's Ooh. fine. I, I'm willing to take those L's. I'm willing to take those L's because mm. I'm planning for the future. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying to bolster my team so that there's a time where the price goes from 11 million to 14 million, 13 million, all of a sudden, because of two goals yeah. or an assist. So I want to be that guy who has the dude chilling on my bench, ready to go. Mm-hmm. That's depth, which is quite depth. Uh, they brought my my guy from Spain back, Ceballos. Mm. Mm. People don't really rate loan players, but I I like him. He transition play keeps things clean. You know he's loyal to the badge. Uh, hopefully they sign him permanently. You know. Uh Mason Mount. Yeah. Mason, uh, you know I had a choice between Mason, Mason Mount, Mount and Pulisic. Pulisic is injured though, so exactly. Yeah. Mm. But Mason Mount has been that quiet contributor that yeah, you course. hear early early on in the season he's scoring goals and then later on in the season he's supplying always break the breakout mm-hmm. play and chelsea has been pretty good at containing goals they haven't suffered heavy defeats maximum two three goals yeah now, so mason mount gave me problems mason mount you, you know because you always find his <clears throat> mount to abrams or Mount to Giroud or Mount to it's Mason Mount who's actually yeah. okay, providing so, so my those gonna assists. Is Mount is Mount gonna play, bro? Yeah, again. That's I had Mason Mount and I started thinking, Harvets, Harvets, Ziyech, Werner, yeah. <laughs> new guys. Who are these new guys? People, always, people always forget that there's impact play. 
And especially early on in the season, these guys are coming from other leagues. Mm, mm. No, sure, they usually get blooded maybe third or fourth game, depending yeah. who they're playing. Yeah. So you, you, you actually need to bring in the guy who's been there, who, yeah. who, whose legs are ready for the EPL. No, sure. Especially if you're pl- And you'll find that the games that have less prestige, they'll bring in the regular boys. Like, okay, listen, you do the running around, do the grind work. So I feel like Mason Mount might come in. Okay. If he doesn't, yeah. Hey, whatever. That's the risk we take. Yeah, you gotta take no no guts, no no glory, no reward. Oh, bro, yeah. Yeah. Front line. <laughs> a weird. A strange one. Rich Allison. No, no, definitely no, no, banger. He's, he's a banger. And the fact that he got classified as a as a forward now. Yeah. He's, he's, a, co- he's a cold-hearted guy. Rich bro. Allison. Rich Allison <laughs> is the guy. Are you? Crystal Palace. Budget buy. Good luck with that. Budget one. buy. <laughs> Definitely budget buy. Budget buy. But hey, no, I mean, the guy well. bangs, but then it's like one in four. Oh, one in so, three, yeah. yeah. One in four is okay. Uh, Out no, of 38 no, no, games. No, you're being FPL, bro. No. In the league, if you're in the league, no. if you want to be in the, if you're being a mid-table no. in the league, sure. I, I gave you my starting lineup. Okay. Based on what's happening. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. On my bench. I told you McCarthy is on my bench yeah. as a goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. I don't know who to start with. Uh, my forward, Antonio. We were talking about it earlier. Yeah. He, yeah. I, Antonio sitting on the bench for a reason. Okay. All, all these concerns you had, your Maitland Niles, your Mason Mounts. Yeah, if things don't work out, homeboy is ready to what? To take over and yeah. do the okay. thing. Yeah. Right? Well, cool. what you Ward, Crystal Palace. Yeah. And then my little dark horse is Ben Joa. When his legs are okay. Yeah. He's a problem. It doesn't matter. I have I always have that one player who's not going to play uh-huh. or who's injured and is gonna cause problems in October, November, <laughs> December. Okay. Chilwell is the guy. Chilwell. Oh, Chilwell's a good guy. Yeah, good guy. So like in that Chilwell back line when assist, you're like, oh, bro. Midland now is like, hey, Chilwell will now take over. Okay, but the thing is, I I mean I, I, I see your strategy, I understand yeah. it. I just fear that for the first couple of game weeks. Maitland doesn't play. Mm-hmm. Choba doesn't play. Mm-hmm. So you get no points. No, they are points there. They are points. So Mount might not play. Mount might not play. But they, but you they know what Antonio, always happens is I mean, that you end, you end up getting two for 90 minutes minus one for a yellow card. Yeah, no sure. You end up yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah. Or you have homeboy who hits you with seven, eight points. Yeah. It covers the guys who are not doing their things. I feel like my team is set That's up for any eventuality. Mm. Injuries, substitutions, because that's another thing. Most of these guys, if they're starting, they're going to play 60 minutes anyway. Well, My I, bench is not weak as fuck. No, I, I have My bench. question is, gentlemen, hmm. do you have change in the bank? No. No, no one has. It's impossible. If no. there's anyone with change, <laughs> Send us a message because I want to figure out what you did <laughs> and who's in your team. I am sure. doing YOLO, bro. Yeah, no YOLO. Such, no such thing as change in the bank. Mm. Like, yeah, hey, man, it's been a while. If you want to keep changing the bank, then you got to like. But change in the bank. The change in the Salah bank has to do with. In the mid and... the change in the bank has to do with those players that you're not confident will play or those other players that you want to get later on. Yeah. And you know that their price is going to. Yeah, it's gonna increase. Mm-hmm. So how like so for like so my middle set up. I got Solomon, Orbs, and Son, mm-hmm. right? That's strong. That's, that's three twelve and a nine million player right. in midfield. Yeah, Plus I know shit for defense. I and fucking no, attack. I've tried, I've mm-hmm. tried in the back, and I've been tipped that Benaga is gonna do well for Wolves. Wolves don't do clean sheets. They have a very strong defense. I never that. My my only weak thing is the Lissau's front runner, but he can get headers mm-hmm. and score goals. I mean, but because I have such a packed midfield play. with such high price players, I know if I save two transfers and I see that maybe Manu or Salah don't want to do it, Sol might want to go, I can easily bring in Bruno, so yeah. De Bruyne, Sterling. Yeah. Yeah. At what away. price? Because we don't know. Uh, but second, second week, they, their they, levels they up. No. Second week, their, their levels wouldn't have gone up. You know, the level, um, we don't know the level of inflation that they're going to put in. So, this so, so do you know how the, the prices actually inflate? Mm. It's, not a, it's not based on performance of the person. It's based on selling and buying of the player to fans of people. So, for example, mm. Forbes is now exchange type in Forbes mm. is p- 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 teams. And he's priced at 12 million. During the season, 
people can start more people can start buying him in. He'll go up to like eight percent of whatever ownership. Mm. His price will go up to one million. Yeah. Mm. That's why Lundstrom last season started off at like something like yeah, five or something, and yeah. then went up to six something. Because everybody was on him. Everyone mm. was buying him. So people like Sterling, De Bruyne, Fernandez, like mm. nice people have got ton of people about Fernandez. So his price won't come that much. Dude, De Bruyne and Sterling might be the ones that might go up a little bit, but not not in the first four game weeks. Next week. Yeah, I don't know. For me, I've I've definitely been choosing my team with like game week two in mind. Yeah. Because I in the back of my head I got either De Bruyne, <laughs> Fernandez, <laughs> Martial, Sterling. Yeah. You know, Sterling, like those four mm. those kinds of guys need to come in. Yeah. And my I, question then becomes predictions. In terms of the fantasy player of the season, is we haven't started. Who do you think is gonna be that guy? Last year was De Bruyne. Who do you think is taking it this year? Oof, it might go back down to Salah again, yeah? Why do you say that? Salah was top player for two seasons in a row before De Bruyne's last season. And, he, yeah. and De Bruyne only won it on the last day when he destroyed, I think, a goal and two assists. That's yeah. what happens. Yeah, no, sure, no, sure, no, definitely not. Mm. I'm just saying. But I just feel that Salah this season might be the guy again to rediscover his form that he had that first season when he banged all those goals. Mm-hmm. Because... I, I, I didn't have a, I didn't have a feeling he's gonna bang. You say that shit it. because you're Liverpool, man. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Yeah. We're in the league. We're in the league. Exactly. <laughs> doubling up, Papa. Doubling up. It's we on record to... now. Yeah. You no, said no, it. No, no, no. That, that's my, that's my prediction for the season as well. Liverpool going in the league. You said Salah. Yourself. Top FPL player. The one player. The one guy who's gonna get two hundred some odd points. Yo, man. I, I'm I'm struck between two two people. Mm. I think. Both of these guys have like a vendetta to prove. Mm-hmm. So one is obviously KDB. Yes, he wanted to break that record. Yeah, that Henri record. Mm-hmm. That shit hurt him. Yeah, and gonna he's back. he's gonna come back, and he's not trying to be sharing that shit. He's trying to be number one guy. And two orbs, fucking orbs, seeing what's his name, Vardy walk away with the golden boot. <laughs> Painful, bro. Interesting, how, painful, bro. interesting how none of us, or I don't know how many people in the league, have actually chosen Vardy. Yeah. Because he's consistent. And he's going to score. He's going to score. He's going to give uh, you 20 some. He always scores against West Brom. 20 some odd goals. I don't know. I suppose it's his price as well. Yeah. 9.5. But, his, re- but yeah, his, re- his returns yeah. are is great. No, they're always great. What's your FPL prediction, bro? FPL prediction. Oh, wait. Mesut Ozil. Play. No. <laughs> I, it's going to it's going to be someone at Chelsea. You think this year? I think Werner. No. I think Lampard's gonna lose his job. That's right. Let us your first game. Let us your first and fourth. No, you know what? With the with the contract said, I think Oba's gonna do some things this year. Nice. We're gonna see a lot of somersaults this year. Um, top four gentlemen. Just tell me two. Top four. You, you know what? <laughs> the way Chelsea has assembled. Mm. All right. My top four is not in order. I don't know who's going to win the league yet. I can only give you that in after the window's closed. Okay. But in the top four, I definitely see Chelsea. They are coming strong. I see okay. Liverpool. I see City. Because they're a strong team. Now, the fourth position. It's up for grabs. Up for grabs. But because now, United, they're playing Champions League. Mm. I have a feeling there's going to be a dark horse. It could either be... I, I have a feeling Arsenal might make it this year. Yeah. There's, there's a vibe mm. that I'm getting from... The transfers, Ateta, like everything that's going around, yeah. and we've managed to retain a lot of players. Yeah. FA Cup, Chinese yeah. show, you come in. Yeah, yeah there's that yeah. momentum. Mm-hmm. So I'd say Chelsea, Liverpool, City, Arsenal. Awesome. Awesome. And I feel like United, Tottenham are there, but it, it depends on what happens yeah. on Wednesdays, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday nights. Because that's actually the decider. Fire. Mm. Oh, don't, yeah. don't, don't forget, Tottenham on Thursday nights. <laughs> well, I, 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 I say Tottenham only because 
They, they managed said the six position, bro. Like it was everything. They managed. And they just beat. They just beat wolves. They just beat wolves. They're happy. No, the thing is, what 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 always gives one of the teams impetus, usually the team that ends up number four, mm. is they don't have to deal with domestic football. They don't have to deal with European football. They have energy. Mm. They're like, hey guys, we gotta push. Cup matches, your cap or is it Carabao Cup now? Carabao Cup. Uh, your FA Cup. Mm. If you if you drop out of those cups early, like before December, yeah, you can then focus. you can focus. Mm. If you find yourself in March, April, and you're still in it, it becomes tricky. In your top four, I think City is has like some beef. Mm, mm, mm. I actually think City, is that the, that's the new rival. I, I think City is gonna come with it. You 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 guys had the beef last season mm, because mm. they they beat you by one point. Now they they are like. How the fuck did we have like what was it eighteen points between them and and you guys? So they've got fire under their feet. Mm. I think I think Pep Guardiola is angry as fuck, mm-hmm. and I think City is gonna be uncontrollable. Yeah, and I think you guys are gonna be slacking because you won the shit and you're gonna come number. Yeah, two. they started slacking before yeah. the season ended as well. So. You're still gonna be in between top two, uh, but I think you're gonna come out number two. I think City's gonna have more more zip. Uh, number three for me is obviously us. GGMU. We're still going through some some things. Some teething phases. Yeah. <laughs> some things. Changes in my life. It's Friday night, guys. Yeah. It's Friday night, yeah. Um, I, I still feel social it hasn't done as much as it should have done in the transfer window. We need to. Hey, uh, we just think yeah. about what's the name? The predictions. Predictions yeah, first. I mean, give I mean, us. Give us your predictions. Money. Yeah, but then like yeah. So city. Liverpool, United, number four. Yeah, you see, number four is always the tough one. Number four is tricky. It's between Chile and Ars- Arsenal. Um, Whew, I, yeah. I think Ch- Chelsea, they've done the major thing, 200 million, whatever, whatever. Mm. The motherfuckers are not going to gel, bro. <laughs> people, people, people will be back. They'll be like, who's Go this average guy for 30, for 70 million? This is ZH, whatever. The motherfuckers You see, there's an, that aspect of... So, they haven't played in the Premier yeah. League. The pace is different. Yeah. The aggression is different. Yeah. They're grown ass men who play in the, like Premier League. These guys are tall. Yep. These yeah. guys are angry. Angry, yeah. So it's different when you're playing that beautiful football and your referees are helping you. Yeah. No, you're playing in mud this year. Yeah, man. So you think Chelsea? Uh, it's tough. Between Chelsea and Arsenal, I, I don't know. We'll speak review this. Speak to me a little bit later. In October, I'll tell you when the when the windows close, then you'll know. Top four, yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll probably do a mid-season yeah. top four again. Yeah. Uh, so mine, obviously, level number one. Hmm. I just feel... You're on drugs, my I just No, no, I'm not on drugs. I just know for a fact that once you start, you just can't stop. Oh, my I goodness. <laughs> hey, Pringles. No, no. I just yeah. think I have a feeling Liverpool will do it again. It'll be mm. harder this time. Won't be a one. It's the always harder to harder, defend, sorry. yeah. But here's the thing. Mm. Liverpool number one. Mm. Then I see surprise number two. I either see Chelsea or Arsenal. And number two. two. Hey, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Wild things. Yeah. Well, <laughs> because I feel, I feel Pep is going to put all his eggs in Champions League because he's a game Mister the game. You think so? They didn't get banned from this thing from competition. Yeah, yeah. He's going to come hard. He's so I hard. think Champions League is going to be his main focus, and he's going to slack in the league, and City will fall to third. I think either Chelsea or Arsenal will come second mm. or fourth. <laughs> That's a big leap. Like, I think I know. Second, <laughs> second or fourth. Yeah. Or fourth. Or fourth. That's what I'm saying. Mm. But City going to come third. Liverpool going to come one. And then, obviously, five or six will be Tottenham. And hey, top four. Oh, yeah, well. Who's your fourth one? You, you've yeah, given Chelsea them. or Arsenal. So, it's, so, so it's all. So, it's one or either or. So, it's, either or. one is going to become Chelsea. second. One's going to come fourth. And Arsenal. then number three. Yeah. That's wild. But City will be third and Liverpool will win. Top goal scorer. Yeah, so, you're defending the title. Um, no, 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 sorry. As Klopp would say, we're attacking the title. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, 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 you know, you <laughs> know, yeah. yeah. Boom, bro. <laughs> we play <the> football. <laughs> First friends will play the football, yeah. yeah. It's nice, it's good, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Klopp, I'm the number one fan, bro. Hit me up. Um, uh, <laughs> top, top goal scorer. scorer. Ooh, and exact goals okay. for the top goal scorer. Who's taking the golden boot? I think, I think Mane will get the season. How many goals? I'm looking at... Sadio. 24 goals. I'm sorry. 
Sadio better do Senegal proud, yeah? Because mm-hmm. remember, he was... When, where's, once, when's AFCON? I don't even know. AFCON's been moved to... I think it's Jan 21? Jan, in the Euros? Euro Nations? Euro next year as well. well. In June? No, no, no sorry, it's the start of the following season. Okay, AFCON. okay. They moved there, so that's why... All right, all right. Won't come back. Okay. Olympics? That doesn't count. They're professionals now, so they don't yeah. get. Are you? I don't. Know. I think top goal scorer is gonna be uh, one of that that pair. So. My brother. He's not gonna have more than he scored this time around. I'm seeing like twenty three. I think the the prem is gonna be a bit more difficult mm-hmm. than it's been before. Um, all the teams are strengthening in defense and midfield, so I think I think Obama. Yeah. If not, it's Anthony Martial. Same score. <laughs> 23! 23! 23! 23! 23! 23! 23! Old school. <laughs> Me. Mm. My captain. My brother. Pierre-Emerick Obama. Yeah. yeah. He's been scoring. 27 goals. He's been raised. Oh, 27! 27. 27! When was the last time someone scored 27 goals in the Prem, bro? Oh, yeah. 20, two seasons ago. 27 goals. Because it's painful to share it the year before and then yeah. just lose. But 27. Yeah. Yeah. My captain, All right. All right. 27. Let's but do this. You spend that money on their Ferrari with the funny... It doesn't matter. Rainbow color shit. Hey, it's that, it's that FIFA <laughs> thing. 27 goals, my captain. Right. Watch. He's going to fucking score a hat trick tomorrow morning. And that's why I've captained and, the motherfucker. And he's going to be on to 27. It'll be 24. Yeah. 27 goals, my captain. Okay. Announce the thing. But how's this though? We've all chosen African players because for some reason, mm-hmm. Salah, Orbs, Mane, if, if you look at any African players within the Premier League at the moment, we yeah. dominate. We dominate, bro. Mm. We dominate. Good. TIA! Black Lives Matter. That's why. Let's do this. 27 goals. That's my, that's, that's my prediction. Okay. Obama Young. Front flip. Somersault. Yeah. Sweet. Mm. So that's, our FPL wrap up, man. That's, that's, that's the first show. 4 3 3. That's yeah. it. 4 3 3. Uh, yeah, join the group, though. Tell them the code, man. Yeah, tell them the code. E S X F A F. He knows it by head. That's right. Join our, yeah. So join our mini league. Say it again. E S X F A F. Follow us on Instagram. 4 3 3. What's the Instagram uh, handle? 3 official. Mm-hmm. Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we don't have proper URL yet because we haven't been verified. It's coming. It's coming. Don't coming. worry. We need 100 subscribers. Guys. We need 100 subscribers. Come on, let's, let's, do do sure. let's do this. Come on, man. It can be done. And it's a double game week for us. You'll see us air this show over the weekend and another show sometime next week. Sometime <laughs> next week. <laughs> hey, we, got, we are day jobs, okay? So we have to <laughs> That's at right. least work around our schedule, guys. Shout out. But yeah, it's going to be a season, guys. Good Cheers season. Cheers. 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 Last drops. Mm-hmm.